Okay, residual analysis. To know what you're doing with residual analysis, you need to know what a residual is. So a residual is the difference between the actual value and the predicted one using whichever line of regression you've got. So the residual is the difference between the actual value and the predicted value. Okay, so there's a, a little equation which is really quite easy. It's it's y pred, sorry. Uh, so you calculate the residual for each point by doing y minus y predicted. Okay, so each residual is calculated like that. Now we recommend, or I'm going to recommend at least, that you do that on your calculator and I will show you how to do that right now. So if you've got an equation and you've got the residuals and you're fitting a least squares regression line or or something like that, you can actually work out what is what the residuals are and use them to do a graph. Okay, to get the residuals up for a, a set of data that you've already fitted a, a regression line to, you can do that from in your calculator like this. What you need to do is you press control menu and then four for variables and then you can link it to now this is where it gets a bit tricky you might not have only one set of data to link it to I do on my calculator at the moment I've got stat one resid okay so the that's first statistical analysis I've done and the residuals for that so I can then get them into column C so you go up into the shaded box there control menu variables and link to whichever particular variable you want okay and then they come up so that's how you can calculate those residuals on your calculator the other thing you might be asked to do is then to draw that okay so we have our data there what we do is we go back to the graph page and then I'm going to change the variable on the y-axis and I'm going to change it to stat resid let's do stat one resid okay and I get a residual plot up like that you can then, if you want to see if there's a pattern there, you can then go menu, two for plot properties, and then connect the data points. Okay, the, the, there is one way to work out the residuals which I've already shown you and get them on a plot. Mr. Rogash has been kind enough to show me another way that will actually get you the plot on the same graph that you've got here. So you can see I've got the same linear regression line fitted to this data with the population and the number of primary schools that we've been working with throughout so far. And you just take a few different steps. You menu, you go four for analyse, and then you can see number seven there is residuals. And you can show the residual plot, which is number two. And you can see that brings up a graph, a residual plot down the bottom here and each of these points correspond with the appropriate point up here. So you can see this point here corresponds to the point here that is above the line because it's above the zero here. So that is, what is it, about one point something above that line there and this point down here, which corresponds to this point here, is you know one point something below that line and you can see how they line up with the points as we go up the graph here so you can see you've got a couple above the line this one barely above the line which is corresponds to that point there so that's just another one I'll run through it again menu four for analyze seven for residuals and then number two for showing or hiding the residual plot so if I press it again it'll hide menu four seven two will bring it back up and it shows the residual plot underneath your linear regression line Okay, so residual plots. If you have a residual plot that has points all over the shop and in a randomly sort of way like that, okay, that means it's most likely a linear relationship. Okay, it's when you have non random residual plots that you start running into problems. So if your residual plot looks something like this or something like this, then chances are it's non-linear. It's a non-linear relationship. Okay, so when you're discussing residual plots in exercise 3E, you need to be saying, oh, sorry, you couldn't see that bottom graph. You need to be saying that when you're analyzing the residual plot, you need to say whether it's linear, is it linear? So is your relationship linear given your residual plot? And that's pretty much it. So when you're doing a residual analysis, okay, an analysis of how close your points are to the graph, 
um, then what you're saying basically is, is is my line of best fit a good fit? And the way you work that out is whether you whether you can say that yes, my my data is linear, so your residual plot will look like that, or unfortunately no, my data is not linear because my residual plot does not show a random thing, it shows a pattern.